today I am heading out to garage sales. I have four hours to hit four garage sales and a filler bag for $5 op shop special. Let's see how much I can get. Hi, my name is Michaela. Welcome back to the channel where we talk all about reselling and some eco-friendly tips thrown in there as well. So as part of this job, I have to go out and source items. And so mostly I'm looking for secondhand, but always interested in new stuff as well. Um, and I source from garage sales, op shops, Facebook marketplace, private bulk deals, all of the above. So this is sort of what my Saturday usually looks like is heading out to garage sales. Um, but today hubby is having to go into work. So I thought I might as well work as well. It is currently 8.37 and I am at my first garage sale. We've got 40 hit today. And then there's a little community op shop just outside of town that is doing a $5 filler bag sale. And so I have to pick up hubby at 12 p.m. Let's see if we can do it all in that time and how much we can get. Got my cash and my coffee. Let's go. Hello, how are you today? Hey, not much at stop one number one. She said that they'd been pretty much cleared out this morning, um, but I did grab a blackboard. Um, I'm wanting to do markets with all the baby bulk lot stuff that I got last year. So uh, that will be really handy for that. So on to the next one. Welcome to take stuff out. Oh, thank you. Yeah, just had a good look. Thank yeah, you. Good. Just as I finished filming that clip, one of the ladies running the garage sale yelled out, anybody who wants to take all of the books for 20 bucks can have the lot. I said, if you're serious, I'll take the lot. She's like, yep, I'm serious. We want them gone. So I took all of the books for $20. I have a secondhand store online. Oh, cool. And so, yeah, yeah. like I'm usually pretty picky, yeah. but I can't pass up this deal. This one's yeah. pretty good. So, <laughs> yeah. But it'll take me a long time, as obviously you've experienced, yeah. Yeah. to go through everything. Yeah. Thank you so much. No worries.
done. That has got to be the biggest and most amazing garage sale I have ever been to. I paid $60 for everything in my car. I absolutely filled it to the brim. <laughs> and I am not going to the other garage sales or the op shop because I'm done. This is gonna take me a couple of weeks to go through all the stuff because there's so much. So let's unpack the car. I'll take you through everything I got. It, it, it turned into sort of a, just a grab and think later uh, by the end of it. Um, so <laughs> some of it might be a surprise to me too. So let's go through it all and yeah, decompress after that. One, if you're new here, my office is downstairs in my house. My garage is at the very front of my house. That was a serious workout. I am disgusting. <laughs> I always take boxes when I go garage sailing and this is an excellent example of why it is so much easier if you do end up getting a bulk deal to just throw it all in boxes. It's easier for yourself, for the people running the sale, easier to get it in the car and out of the car. So this is what $20 of books gets you. Oh my goodness. Now I never check sold or comps when I go to garage sales. I just rely on my experience and my knowledge to get me through. And even though I haven't checked any of these books for $20, I know I'm going to make profit on that. So I'm not going to go through the books today. It's just going to be a mammoth uh, task that I'll tackle another day. But let's go through all the other stuff. The rest of it I got for a total of $40. So it's $60 altogether. Okay, so this is everything else that I got. Let's quickly run through it. Starting at the back, we've got a couple of Tupperware containers. Uh, they don't have the lids, unfortunately. This really cool old spice rack. I don't think it's very old, but still pretty cool. This cast iron koala, sort of like a, a door stopper. This vintage pair of salt and pepper shakers. They're not Pyrex, uh, but they are still pretty cool. This really old pair of glasses in the case. I'm going to have to do some research on those, but they are absolutely gorgeous. This set of ceramic Christmas tree uh, serviette holders. Really cool old jar. The brand is Potter and More, and it's got it on the bottom. Really cool lid. There was another one that was plain, but I just grabbed this one that had the cool lid. This is an ink pot, and it's made in England, and it's brand new. It's uh, sealed. These really cool little sets of cocktail forks and spoons as well. Really cool little sets. That one's missing a pink spoon, but the other set is complete. I simply grabbed this because it's in the box. I haven't looked at it. I don't know anything about it. I'll check it out later. This really cool little push trike. I swear we had this at our grandma's house growing up. So that's a little nostalgic for me. And this really cool little horse. This is really cool. So it's sealed. It's minted chocolate produced in Holland. It's a liqueur. This little ceramic mug. It's got like circus on it. Another really cool vintage mug. A set of four vintage Tupperware shakers. Just a little old tin. I grabbed it because it's got Jaguar on the top. This is just a cool little piece that I couldn't leave behind. So it's just a really old wooden box that's got kookaburras all over it. Really giving me like May Gibbs vibes. It's very cute. This gravy jug. Grabbed it because it's Wedgwood. Now, there was heaps and heaps and heaps of toys and dolls. So these are just the ones that I picked up that were vintage or um, just had something unique about them. So this is um, a Smurf toy. So made in Korea, 1981, and it's made with shredded nutshells. Like, <laughs> this is so cool. Uh, a little vintage, I think this one's Bert little squeaker toy made in Korea. A very old Pooh Bear who's been very loved. But look at the state of this tag. So the old Sears tag, a very old Mickey, 
and the platypus from the Sydney 2000s Olympics. I really looked hard through the toys and could not find any other 2000s Olympics toys, but we've got one of them. A really old Snoopy, again, made in Korea. Uh, his head and all his limbs move. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool little fluffy ears there too. And then we have this big bundle of Humphrey B. Bear. Oh my gosh, I loved Humphrey as a kid. And these are old, very, very old Humphreys. Very well loved. But as a bundle, I couldn't leave them behind. Too cool. Then underneath we have two wool blankets. Both 100% wool. For a morning out, doing what I love, it turned out to be really, really good. I am so glad with everything I picked up. Definitely a lot of profit there to be made. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe for more reselling content. Happy treasure hunting, everyone.